Okay, to get SmartBot to work with Home Assistant and our Lightwave RF lights, we're going to need to use Home Assistant. Now, we're going to make some assumptions that you've already got a Home Assistant server set up and running, but the Home Assistant's quite a complex process to use, so we're making that assumption. If you've got Home Assistant, you're going to know how to follow these instructions. We will be making a Home Assistant video later on, but for now, we'll just get on with this one. So we'll come to our Home Assistant main panel and you've got your normal controls down the side and we'll come to settings. You also see notification, you've got one because it's discovered them automatically. Come down to settings, go to devices and services. Now I've already clicked on add Bluetooth devices and so that was just simple configure except Bluetooth. And now you've got all of these Bluetooth devices that have been discovered and all the SwitchBot ones are there. We've got a few other ones that we've got to do as well, but we're concentrating on the switch bot for now. And we're only going to concentrate on the motion sensor. The process is going to be very similar for all the other switch bot things as well. So we're going to click on motion sensor. And we're going to click submit. We're going to pop that in the... Come on. Kitchen and we'll click finish. Now, if we come to our kitchen setting, it won't be in our dashboard because this is a customized dashboard for it. But if we come to our overview, this is the default overview tab, which updates automatically. You can now see in our kitchen, because this is automatically been generated. It's got the motion sensor, the name, because we didn't give it a custom name. And it's saying the motion is clear and that lights are detected. So obviously it's still bright in the kitchen during the day. So that's absolutely spot on to what we're expecting. We're gonna make the assumption that you've got Node Red also installed on your Home Assistant server. So we'll come to Home Assistant, we'll come to Node Red and open up one of our flows. Now we'll be doing a video on setting this up as well at some point, but for now we'll stick with the assumption you know how to do this. We'll copy our current flow as we know this one works for the garage lights, although it's using different sensors and different lights, it's a good starting point. Create the new flow, give it a new name. Done. Bring it to the... And then we'll just paste it in and we will change the names of these to kitchen lights. motion sensor and it's motion detected we'll go for and I'll say done and hopefully just changing that little bit will make it work and what you've got in here is you've got a switch and that's just choosing true or false for the detection and a two minute delay which gets reset if there's a, another motion being detected so you know that routine works. So we'll just click deploy on that one, click confirm. And now it's running. We'll go downstairs and see if it detects the motion. Okay, we can now see that it's detected motion and it's now detected that it's stop motion has stopped. It's activated the timer. And so it's then going to proceed to this bit. And so we can see that is working as it should be and the lights do come on and off automatically with our timer. But we also now want to add a function so that it works with the light sensing as well. So we'll start working on that one. Uh, what we can see now is I've gone and updated the flow. I've added some functions to it. This will be available on my GitHub project which there will be a link for it down below. So you'll be able to get onto my resources and add these to yours, but we'll have a quick look. So we've got the motion sensor, 
which is just a binary sensor and it's sending out true or false. And we've got the light sensor. Again, it's a Boolean, it's just sending out true or false. It also outputs on connect the same as the other one. And then we come to some functions and it's very basic. I'm just giving it a name of what the local variable is and I'm just returning that one and the same here, just giving it local flow variable and returning the payload. Then we come to the function that combines them, very basic if else statement. So it's if it's is bright as false, motion equals true, turn the lights on, otherwise turn the lights off. Done. Which comes to the switch. And so if it's on, output one, if it's off, output two. Uh, which then comes to if it's on, the switch will output turn light on. If it's off, then it's the same as what the previous routine was, but I've adjusted it so it's just one minute, and then it will keep throwing a circle if it redetects motion. So if you're in the kitchen and you keep moving around, the lights don't turn off on you, because I severely doubt you're going to be in the kitchen still for a minute, as in the garage I was, and that did cause me problems. So that is basically it. Now I'm going to add our Gobi lights to this in the future, so there will be updates to this, and this flow will get more complicated, so I may have to have two different flows in my GitHub repository for you guys. But you can always just see this and ask questions if you get stuck. So if you are implementing something like this on Node-RED and Home Assistant, do post comments down below and I'll help you with your routines. Um, obviously this is a very specific use case for us, but in general that will work. If you aren't using Home Assistant or Node-RED, and you just want to use Alexa routines, you absolutely can. That's much quicker and easier. But we've got so much into Home Assistant, and I'm finding we can do a lot more with this. So we are doing this, and hopefully we will um, expand home automation services as well. We do offer a home automation service. So if you do need us to build you home servers, we can do that. Uh, we can do on-site training as well. We do on-site setups. So again, if you do need anything, um, use the link to our website down below and you can hire us to do a full install and custom setup for you. If you do want to get yourself one or any of the SmartBot bits of kit, there'll be links for them down in the description below. And if you use our links, uh, they'll automatically give you the 10% discount. If in doubt, use our 10% discount code as well. Please remember to share the links and discount code with friends and family and anyone that is interested in the product as it will help yourselves get the discount and also help us with a bit of a kickback as well. Well, thank you very, very much for watching the video. Do hope you enjoyed it. If so, do give it a good like, thumbs up, comment and subscribe. So do follow us on social media. Take care, wish you all the best and hope to see you again soon. All the best. Bye for now. I need to make sure I always click deploy and I'll confirm I know I've got an error in another routine but that is fine. When using Node Red always make sure you deploy afterwards because if you walk away from your computer it will just decide to delete what you've done without saving it. So yeah, live and learn on that one.